Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. Planet Earth has many jaw-dropping and breathtaking natural wonders, enough to fill your bucket list many times over. But our gorgeous planet isn't always home sweet home. It certainly has its fair share of terrifying and mysterious places, places that are not for the weak-hearted. Today, we are looking at 10 of the scariest places you shouldn't visit at any cost. Number one is an amusement park straight out of hell, so watch out for that. Number 10, the Suicide Forest. Do you know they were something known as the most famous suicide destination in the world? We are not kidding. Northwest of the majestic Mount Fuji is the sprawling 13.5 square miles, or nearly 22 square miles of Aokigahara, a forest so thick with greenery that it's known as the Sea of Trees. But it's the Japanese landmark's horrific history that makes this forest one of the scariest places in the world. Untold visitors have chosen this place, notoriously called the Suicide Forest, as the setting for their final moments, walking in with no intention of ever walking back out. Everything about the place is just completely scary. The forest trees organically twist and turn, their roots winding across the forest floor in treacherous threads. Because of its location at the base of a mountain, the ground is uneven, rocky, filled with hundreds of caves. The forest is completely isolated, which makes it a fitting place for people who are looking to spend their final moments ever. Some estimates claim that as many as 100 people a year have successfully killed themselves there. Number 9. Christ of the Abyss, Italy When you go diving, the last thing you would expect to find is an 8-foot or nearly 13-kilometer tall statue of Jesus looking right back at you. But that is exactly what happens when you go diving off the coast of San Fruttuoso in Italy. This statue was commissioned by Duilio Macante back in 1954, when his friend died while diving there a few years prior. He envisioned a sort of memorial for his friend and wanted it to stand exactly where he had lost his life, and thus Christ of the Abyss was born. The result is an eerie statue with outward stretched arms and an upward gaze. The algae and corrosion at this site is just spooky. Though, in 2003, the statue was removed from its place to undergo much-needed restoration, as there was a broken off hand that had to be replaced. Do you find this statue scary or beautiful, or maybe even both? Let us know in the comments below. Number 8. Overture Bridge, Scotland This might not look scary to you, but it's probably the scariest place in the world for your dog. Also known as the Dog Suicide Bridge, at least 300 dogs have jumped off Overture Bridge in Dumbarton, Scotland. Locals believe paranormal activity is to blame. In a land rife with superstitions, myths, and monsters, the bridge has been at the center of an enduring mystery. Some say there are rational explanations involving the terrain, such as the sense of mammals in the gorge may drive the dogs into a frenzy. Others say the bridge's construction, which has tapered edges, might make it look like a safe, flat plane from a dog's point of view, which also contributes to their confusion. Whatever it is, this place really is completely evil. You better keep your dog away from here. Number 7. La Verbena Cemetery there are places in the world that are left alone, like the final resting place for the dead. But even in some places, relations of the dead must still pay rent, so that their deceased loved one can continue to rest there. If the rent isn't paid, the dead are moved out of the cemetery. La Verbena Cemetery in Guatemala City is an amazing city of the dead, where relatives of the deceased party, socialize, and engage in all sorts of activities not normally associated with graveyards. So you must be thinking, where is the terror here, right? Well, you see, it's all in the rental agreement. Families of the deceased must pay rent to ensure their loved ones remain undisturbed within their vertical tombs. The first six years are free, but after that, they are charged $24 for every successive four years. This is a lot of money for most of the folk burying their loved ones in these crypts. Those unable to pay will see their relatives' graves marked with red paint. The bodies are removed, bagged, and, if they aren't claimed by their relatives, unceremoniously dumped into large communal graves. It is not a rare occasion. It happens every single morning. Capitalism really is the scariest thing in the world, isn't it? Number 6. Snake Island Maybe not haunted, but this place is no less scary than any of the other places on this list. You must have heard of pest or weed infestations, but have you ever heard of something called viper infestation? No, we are not making that up. Off the coast of Brazil sits a peaceful jungle paradise, an island uninhabited by humans. Ila da Quemare Grande, or commonly known as the Snake Island, is literally crawling with golden lancehead pit vipers, a snake with venom about four times more potent than that of regular old lancehead snakes. Golden lanceheads are endemic to Ila da Quemare Grande, as it's the only place they can be found in the whole world. Only a research team of the Brazilian Navy is allowed on the island. A golden lancehead bite could kill you in under an hour. Although only about 7% of bites result in death, it's an extraordinarily painful injury to incur. The only thing these snakes eat is a migrating bird, 
The viper had to evolve to make their bite strong and fast acting so the birds don't fly away before the snakes have a chance to feast on them. Would you want to visit this place? Number 5. Bielitz Herstatten Hospital, Germany If you watch many horror movies, you will notice that many places where these events happen repeat themselves throughout the movies. A cabin in the woods, the forest, graveyards, and to be on topic, abandoned hospitals. That is what we are talking about in number 5 on our list. This hospital definitely earned its spot in this list because this one looks particularly disturbing when you take a good look at it. This hospital is a 50-minute drive away from Berlin. It housed mustard gas and machine gun victims during World War I, including a young soldier going by the name of Adolf Hitler, who had been wounded. It later on became a treatment center for Nazi soldiers during World War II and was also used as a Soviet military hospital after the Second World War. The surgery and psychiatric wards have been left to decay and give way to nature. Also, vandalism has greatly contributed to the place looking like a scene from a horror movie. This would not be an enjoyable day trip whatsoever. Number 4. Jacob's Well Summers in Central Texas can be a struggle between being really hot and being really just too damn hot. Relief is wherever you can find your air-conditioned car or a cold water pool. However, just an hour's drive from Austin in Hayes County, Texas, lies a natural wonder, Jacob's Well. Every summer, many choose to escape Texas's scorching heat by dipping in the refreshing and beautiful spring whose waters stay year-round at 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. It's not just the heat stricken that flock to the spring, though. Many daredevils dive into the spring, which extends for over 112 feet or 34 meters below the surface into a complex cave system. Some say it's the trip of a lifetime. But it comes at a cost. Many have died diving into Jacob's well. This well has been there for millions of years and no one has been able to reach the bottom. Diego Adame, a 21-year-old from San Antonio, lost a flipper free diving the caves deep in the well in July 2015. He had to cut away his weight belt to make it back to the surface before his breath ran out. This really is a scary place. Number 3. Island of the Dead Dolls In Mexico, there's a very popular island, but it's uninhabited by people. Instead, it is home to hundreds of old dead dolls. Yes, you heard that right. Of course, the dolls were never alive, yet they've been made to look dead with paint and gouged eyes. Tourists flock here every year to get a fright and a good sighting of this island. It's very popular at Halloween, believe it or not. The locals state that there are ghosts lurking around the waters, ready to jump into your body and possess you. However, you may find that the dolls themselves are scarier than any demons or spiritual beings. There is a popular story behind this island. There was once a man who lived there. He found a little girl in the nearby lake who had tragically died. There was a doll lying near the girl. To give tribute to the dead, the man hung the doll on the tree. Yet he believed the soul wasn't at rest, so he brought more dolls to hang there. We don't know if the story is true, and even though the tradition of hanging dolls there comes from the man's goodwill, it is still quite frightening. Number 2. Sedlec Ossuary, Czech Republic This small chapel is known for its macabre decor. In the early 1300s, an abbot brought back holy soil from Jerusalem and spread it around the church's cemetery. Suddenly, everyone wanted to be buried under this now sacred ground. After a while, overpopulation kicked in and bodies had to be dug up to make space for the recently deceased. In a true waste not want not fashion, the abbots commissioned a local Czech woodcarver the daunting task of arranging the collection of more than 40,000 human remains in a visually impressive way, and he absolutely delivered on it. Streamers of bones cascade from the ceiling. There is a massive chandelier containing almost every bone found in the human body, which definitely makes a statement. We are just not sure what statement. This is very spooky and could easily have deserved our number one spot. Number 1. Pripyat Amusement Park, Chernobyl, Ukraine There's no one to blame but ourselves for the downfall of this theme park. Pripyat is the most famous abandoned amusement park in the world. The Pripyat Amusement Park wasn't abandoned due to weather, debt, or mismanagement, but instead the infamous Chernobyl disaster of April 26, 1986. The park's grand opening was actually scheduled for the 1st of May. There were reports and photographic evidence which indicate that Pripyat Park did open a day after the disaster, perhaps to help locals cope with the tragedy. The park was briefly accessible to locals, but they were forced to evacuate as reports of dangerously high levels of radiation in the area started to emerge, something habitants and authorities had been unaware of on the day of the nuclear incident. Today, the park remains abandoned, with high levels of radiation present in the moss and surrounding soil. Which one of these places would you like to visit? Let us know in the comments! And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel!